A few steps away, there's another Thug Captures Girl, Hero Saves Girl, Water Ride, Dudley Do Rights, Ripsaw Falls. That's not redundant. This is the wettest islands of all the islands of adventure. But I have more to say about this one because I freaking love Jay Ward. What's not to love? The cheesy animation, the terrible puns, the subtle satire, the lack of a fourth wall, it was all so brilliant. And despite my wisecrack about Brendan Fraser, I even have a soft spot for the feature length film adaptations. Honestly, I think the Dudley Do Right movie's only real crime was being made too early for Amy Adams to play Nell. And you bet your ass I'm going to see the Peabody and Sherman movie. You know, as soon as I get a break from editing f***ing theme park videos. Without Jay Ward, we probably wouldn't have The Simpsons or any other modern cartoon you love. But despite the company's massive influence on pop culture, they're still not a household name the way Disney or Warner or even Hanna-Barbera are. Sure, some noble parents are passing Bullwinkle on to their kids, but it's not like the stores are overflowing with Fractured Fairy Tales merch. And the one thing that looks like it could be a Bullwinkle-related store here is just an internet cafe. With yet more Betty Boop crap. But I'm happy to see so much of Ward's work honored here. Even if it's mostly decorations shoehorned in where they don't quite make sense. I really, really, really hate to be nitpicking on this ride. I'm grateful that any Jay Ward ride exists. Really, there's no reason it should. But it does, and that's great. But... While I appreciate the effort put into this ride, it's pretty blatantly cheap. The models look like the characters, sure, but they barely move. And you could chalk that up to being true to the limited animation of the original show, but the original show was also fast. They packed so much dialogue and so many gags into a five minute runtime, but here you feel like you're waiting through five minutes of emptiness between gags. I mean, look at how much activity is going on in the dark ride portions of Splash Mountain, and that's based on a movie where nothing happens. But I know, I know, there's no reason for Universal to sink that much money into an attraction based on a Jay Ward cartoon. And let's be fair, there is a lot going for this ride. They're true to the silent film and vaudeville stage motifs of the show, there's clips from episodes playing in the queue, bits from the theme recreated throughout the ride, sufficiently cartoony architecture, a paycheck for voice goddess June Foray, and of course, lots of Disney parodies. And according to Wikipedia, these guys are voiced by Charles Nelson Reilly and Dom DeLuise. Dom DeLuise! That's pretty impressive casting for a throwaway Country Bears parody. From a commercial standpoint, it's probably a better ride than any Jay Ward property deserves. But from an artistic and comedic standpoint, there was so much more potential. But there's no time to mourn what might have been. We have to move on. Tomorrow we'll see a land with yet another water ride. So don't miss our next exciting episode, Frightening in the Dark Ride or The Lost World Showcase.